gonna remove these push pins. Use a trim tool, just get underneath, pop these push pins out. Slide the center up first. That unlocks it and then you can pull the rest of it out. Pop those out. And on both sides, you wanna take these bolts out, use a 10 millimeter socket. Remove those. Underneath here, you're gonna have some push pins holding this on. You wanna use a trim tool and take those push pins out. All of those along there. Over on the side, you wanna take those push pins out right there. Just use that trim tool, get that one out there. And there should be one right in the corner here. You want to take that one out because that's going to separate the inner shield from the bumper cover. So do that on both sides. Now we're underneath, we're going to take all these screws out. You're going to use a T20 socket. Take those out. Then just grab the panel and you just want to slide it towards the back of the vehicle. Now from the side, we're going to take off these three screws, use the same T20 socket. Then you can peel away, pull back on the inner fender well. You want to disconnect the light that's on the side here. Just grab the connector. Push down on the tab and then slide the connector out. If there's fog lights, you're going to want to reach in there and disconnect the fog light as well. Do the same on the other side. And disconnect that connector. Now just grab the bumper cover right here and you just want to pull outward pretty hard. like that. It's clipped in right there. You want to do the same on the other side. And again, just pretty forcefully, just grab it and pull. Then just grab the whole bumper cover and slide it forward. You're going to remove this panel. Just use a trim tool or a screwdriver and just pry up on this clip right here. There's another one over here. And then this piece slides forward. Take that off. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Take this screw out right here. And this piece slides out. And just pull the piece forward and it slides right off. On top, there's three push pins. Take those out, just use a trim tool. Pop those out. And from the front, there's 10 millimeter bolts. Just use a 10 millimeter socket. Take those bolts out.
Now just grab this cover on the side. You just slide it up. Same on the other side. Kind of clips in, then it slides forward. Take this shield off right here. It's just going to slide up. Take these push pins out on the front. Just use a trim tool. Pop those out. And then this little shield comes off. Just twist it and slide it out. Do the same on that one. Now you want to support the hood, whether you use a 2x4 or a hood prop, so that you can take this bar and slide this bar out of the way. Now before we take this bar out, you want to just mark it just with a felt tip pen. You want to do that on both sides, you can wipe away the dirt. That's good. Using a 13 millimeter socket, Take this bolt out. There's a little bracket here. You could take that off. That supports the radiator and this bolt. Same 13 millimeter socket. And there's one in the back here. Take those out. We can flip this up. There is some wires we want to disconnect. You can use a trim tool, pop the retainers off. This wire we're going to disconnect right here. This connector right here, you want to move the lock tab. Disconnect the connector. There's a couple other connectors on the side. And disconnect those as well. Now you can see them a little better. There is a little lock tab on these connectors. You want to slide that back. Just use a screwdriver. You can push down on the tab. Connect it. So you slide back on that and then push down on that tab and disconnect it. Same with this one. And then the rest of the wiring harness, just use your trim tool and just pop these out. Pop this one off going to stay with it. Then we're going to take this. If you wanted to, you could disconnect the latch and move that out of the way or just move this whole piece and just set it aside. Just to get some more slack, I'm going to remove the retainers for this wiring harness from the frame. Right here and right here. And I can just slide it out a little bit more so it's not in the way. You can even use a wire tie or a um, or a bungee cord and keep it out of the way. That's good. Now this harness is going across the front right here. You want to take that off the fan. Just use the trim tool. Pop those clips off.
It's just clipped in down there. And it's clipped in over on the side, right there. And you can disconnect it on that pressure sensor right there on the AC. Pop that off. There's another connector right there, attached to the radiator. Pop that off, just push down on the tab. And we can slide that wiring harness out of the way. And then disconnect the large connector right here. Push down on the tab. Just try to wiggle that off. And there's a couple other retainers holding those wire, that wiring harness on. Take those off. And down below here. And there's one more way down. Those are all disconnected. Over on the side, you can take some long needle nose and there's a little clip that you have to squeeze right there. That's holding the fan in. As you squeeze that, you can release the fan. Just slide the fan up. You can just use a trim tool, slide it up. And then do the same on the other side. Just go underneath here. You just need to slide this in. Just clipped in right there. And there we go. Now that's loose. Slide it up on the driver's side a little bit. You just want to twist it. And it slides right up. Take the fan and we'll slide it in position. You're going to slide the passenger side down first. Just angle it down a little bit. there. Get it lined up on the driver's side as well. It's lined up on both sides and then just push it down, lock it in place. Now you want to hook up the wiring harness, connect the connector right here, lock it in. And then take and push any of the push pins for the wiring harness in the correct position. Then run the wire over here. It's going to go down and around. Plug in those connectors. One goes on the switch or the sensor on the radiator. And the other one down here. And lock it in. Now take this bracket, line it up. Before we tighten it down, we want to put the wiring harness in so that we can get everything lined up. Plug these connectors in. 
push the retainers on. And that's all lined up. And that's good. And it lines up with the line, although there's not a lot of movement in there, so it's probably not a big deal, but that's okay. Now I'll put the bolts in. Get those started. And you have these brackets for the radiator. Put these in before we tighten all those bolts down. Get those lined up. Now you can put the hood prop back, line that up, remove your, your other hood prop. Now I'll take this cover, slide that in position, and lock it down, and put these pieces in, slide that in position. And there should be a screw that goes right there. Same on this side. It's gonna line up right there. And there should be a push pin that goes right here. That holds that in. And same with right here. Push that in, lock it down. Now put this panel on. Line that up. It's gonna clip in place. Take the push pins, line those up, push those down. Now slide this air duct in place down below. And put these 10 millimeter bolts in. There's some more that go over here. The last one. And one more right here. And we'll tighten all those down. lock in place right there. Now I take the bumper cover and line it up. On the sides, you wanna push it in into the clips. Do that on both sides. And lock it in. Now on the side, you wanna get these screws lined up. Just make sure that the bumper lines up with the fender. Snug that down. Just do the same. Get those started. Tighten those down. Do the 
same on the other side. If you want to, before you put these screws in, you can connect this side marker light right here. If it's a little bit easier, but you can still access it from underneath. Lock that in place. Then you can get those screws lined up. Slide this panel in place. Lines up right there. Push pins in, lock those down. There should be four of those right there. And get all the screws started. and snug those all down. and tighten those all down. And the two push pins on the side, you wanna push those in. Now put the push pins in and lock them down. Take the two 10 millimeter bolts, get those started. And tighten these down. <laughs> 